I'm threatening you. Are you serious? I'm telling you. Oh, hello, John. What are you doing in my salon? As you can see, I'm a customer. I'm here to fix my nails. <laughs> Please leave. Um, I'm doing pedicure and I don't think it's done. Oh, are you through there? No, I didn't think Please so. Please leave or I'll call the police. Darling, darling, the commissioner of police, it's at my house every weekend. Um, you may just want to... No, I didn't think you would. <laughs> so, hello, John. His name is Samuel. Oh, Samuel. So you're Samuel now. I take it that you have different names that you use for your different women? Madam, did I ask you to talk? And why shouldn't I? You called me yesterday and you were threatening me. Yes, I called you and I threatened you because I couldn't get to this boyfriend of yours here. This man, Samuel or John, whatever his name is, collected a check of 50,000 naira from me last week and disappeared from the surface of this earth. His phone was switched off. Then it occurred to me that that woman that owns that cheap little salon, uh, Billa or Baal or whatever they call her, wasn't particularly happy when I was flirting with that young thug. Then it hit me that probably both of them knew each other. Probably both of them are lovers. Except for the fact that one is old enough to be a grandmother to the other. Excuse me. Oh my dear, things do happen, you know. Old mamas do sometimes like young blood. It's all right, dear. I understand. Now, basically, what I'm here for is my money. I want to know who I'm going to collect it from. Is it from the mama or from the boy? Or the boy or the mama? Who is it going to be? Look here, madam. I don't know what you're talking about. Neither do I have your money. You are embarrassing me in front of my staff. Embarrassment? You haven't seen an embarrassment. By the time I'm through with you, you will cover this old face of yours in shame. Look here. I don't know what you're saying. If you took your money, take him. All I want is for you to leave my salon now. Chinidu, what are you doing here? Mimi. Why aren't you in your school uniform? Why aren't you in school? Mom, my, my school uniform got stained. I, I came to cut my hair. Your school uniform got stained. Mm -hmm. You came to cut your hair. Mm -hmm. I thought you said you didn't know any salon around here. Mm -hmm. and, and what is that supposed to mean? I just knew. I, I was passing and I saw it and I walked in. My school uniform got stained. Uh, it is in my backpack. I was coming home to change. And who are these women? I don't know them. All. I don't know them. Perhaps this, this is a salon. And women are always in salons. I just hope it is not what I think it is. Chinedu. Mm. I hope it is not that disgraceful thing you did back at Enugu when you were carrying big women all about the place. What? What's this, Mom? Goodness! Why are you embarrassing me? Embarrassing you? Oh, my change. 